everyone, I'm Tamsin and I'm here to provide you with some really, really important information regarding your final year of study with us. As part of your third year, your final year, you've got some option units that we're really keen to make you aware of um, that you're going to have to pick from. So we were keen to put a video together for you to make sure you've got all of the key information that you actually need to make an informed choice for the units that you wish to do in your final year. So welcome to this video. As part of the video, I'm going to be giving you some really important information, some key dates that are really important for your um, selections of option units for your final year of study. So your unit leaders, they've put together some information. We've got some videos to show you that really discusses the units that are available to you um, that you can actually select uh, in order to study. Really, really important choice uh, to make because, of course, the units that you pick, the option units that you pick, it will have a big impact on your final year of study with us and also your career going forward. So that was why we were so keen to give you as much information as we could in order to help you make the best possible choice for you. So in terms of choosing those option units, after the Easter break, you're going to be um, able to actually make those choices about the option units that you would like to study next year. So these will be in addition to the core units that you'll be studying as part of your programme. And let me tell you, we've got a really, really exciting year ahead uh, and some great core units for you to really look forward to. Um, it's really, really important that you carefully consider the options uh, and those option units that are available to you very carefully. Um, and I would advise that being prepared is really the key to actually securing the options that you want. The reason for that is spaces on those options units are limited. So if you just wait until when that window opens for you to start thinking about the option units that you might like to do, it's probably already too late. Um, and a little bit later on in this video, I'm going to be giving you some more information around the key dates when those uh, the option window actually opens. A really, really exciting year to look forward to in terms of your final year. So I hope that you have a wonderful summer. Um, I hope you get a really, really good rest. Um, and then you come back totally fresh. And I would like to take this opportunity just to reiterate the importance of really um, making the most of all of the opportunities that we provide you with um, and to make sure you're attending all of those sessions to, to get the best possible um, experience and, and make the most of those units, these wonderful units that we've got in store for you in your final year. So what will your third year look like? What will your final year of study with us actually look like? You've got some core units uh, and you'll effectively be banking one unit choice. So in terms of your core units in semester one, you'll be studying business and marketing professional, digital marketing campaign management, strategic management in the global context, and also working on that research project, which is, of course, your dissertation. In addition to that, you also have one option choice that is available to you. And that is really the purpose of this video to explain those options that you've got. Um, and so you can have a think about which of the options you might like to pick for that um, option choice. In semester two, You've got business ethics, sustainability and responsible leadership. There's also entrepreneur business in a globalised society. And of course, because that research project, that dissertation, very, very big project that you're doing, that spans across both of the semesters. So what are these third year option units that I keep referring to? Um, and we're going to be finding out more about all of these options in a few moments uh, because your uh, unit leaders have actually put together some videos. But the strategic communications and advertising planning, that's actually my unit, really, really good unit. Uh, and I enjoy teaching it very much, as you'll hear in a moment in the video that I put together. There's marketing analytics and decision making, which, again, we uh, will be hearing more about just shortly and also understanding the customer experience. So you'll be choosing one of those units to study in semester one. In terms of giving you some advice around what you need to consider 
when you're picking your option units. Um, I'd recommend that you really think, um, have you got a career path in mind that you'd like to follow? Um, and will this unit actually complement that um, and in some way help you to actually get where you want to be with your future career? Also think about what you enjoy. Typically, if you enjoy something, you are likely to do much better at it. So think about what you've enjoyed in the previous units that you've actually studied on with us. Um, and also reflect on what your strengths are. If you perhaps you're very, very creative and you know that you enjoy that within units um, and that's certainly your uh, some of your strengths. Alternatively, you might really love writing. You might love, um, you know, undertaking research tasks. You might be very analytical. So think about what um, what your skills are, what you enjoy most, and then um, allow that to actually um, inform your choice of unit. Alternatively, thinking about how you might want to challenge yourself, you might think, actually, I'm not very strong at a certain area. So I want to take a unit to really improve my um, kind of knowledge and skills within a certain area of marketing and advertising. So as you're aware, I'm your year tutor for this year and next year, Dee will be your year tutor. And she's put together some guidance around how to pick these option units. So I'd say first things first, have a think about the kind of career um, that you're interested in. If you've done a little bit of work experience, if you've done um, placement, something like that, and you've got an idea in mind, have a think about um, some of the skills that you might need, or maybe have a chat with your personal tutor and have a think about some of the skills that you might need for your um, career and have a look at where they match um, with the content um, of the units. If you're really unclear and there's no problem with that, um, that's quite common and quite normal. Um, then have a think about what's kind of resonated with you um, in your university career so far. Think about um, what topics have you enjoyed because I think you always do better at something that you enjoy. Um, yeah, and yeah, have a look at where that kind of matches and have a think about what you think you might enjoy. So in terms of your options then, so we will now have a look at some uh, videos that your unit leaders have put together, giving you a little bit more information about their unit and what you could expect if you actually pick that unit. Hi, I'm Tamsin. I am the unit leader for the wonderful unit Strategic Communications and Advertising Planning, which is an option that's available to you at level six. So the unit really is kind of in the name actually, but it's about um, strategic communication and also advertising. And what we look at is the end to end process of how you would actually go about approaching uh, responding to a client brief essentially. So you'll be creating a pitch presentation uh, and delivering that on behalf of um, an organisation. And we look at that entire process from end to end. What I absolutely love um, about this unit, having taught on it um, for a number of different iterations of this unit running and being unit leader on it, is really seeing students, um, their confidence developing over the weeks. Uh, we do do some uh, practice pitch presentations as part of the unit within the teaching. It's really, really great to see people's confidence growing. Uh, that's something I absolutely love. I love seeing the creative ideas that people come up with. I think it's really, really satisfying when we've got a plan in the end of, um, at the end of the unit that we ultimately present. We've sent them to, um, you know, some of the really strong examples. We've sent them off to um, the organisations that uh, they were based on uh, and had some really great feedback in the past from um, those industry practitioners. In terms of what I bring specifically to this unit, um, prior to working in academia, I spent seven years working as a practitioner. Um, I was head of marketing for a couple of different companies, including agencies, so my uh, experience is both in-house and agency-based. Um, and really, I try to bring that kind of practitioner focus and industry focus into all that I do with my teaching. I think that if you're the, uh, the type of person that loves to work with others and you love to um, do group work, then I think that you will really, really enjoy working as quite a tight knit team um, as part of this unit. There's, of course, you know, with it being the end to end process that we're focusing on um, as part of this brief really, really great opportunity to really find out what you like uh, within advertising and marketing. What have you enjoyed within that process? Does it give you an indication 
of where you might like to focus in your career later on, um, and really the creative opportunities that come through as a result of that, uh, and you know, improving those pitch presentation skills that are very, very important when you do leave us. So the unit is assessed in terms of a group pitch presentation. You'll be creating a pitch presentation um, and delivering that as part of your group. Another brilliant unit that we've got, which is marketing, analytics and decision making. So as part of this unit, students will be critically evaluating the models, the theories, the frameworks concerned with marketing analytics, um, really thinking in support of the kind of strategic marketing decision making. Um, so you'll be creating suitable metrics um, and performance indicators for really a wide range of marketing purposes and actually analysing performance against those key metrics um, within you know, an organisation, looking at what competitors are doing and, and how you perform against them um, in, in light of the external environment. So this, uh, again, another really good unit and the assessment type is a report. The unit itself is, um, is, is outrageously interesting in the way that we take students uh, to the chill factor. This year we've had the chill factor, so we've taken them snowboarding, we've taken them rock climbing, we've taken them to Manchester City's um, stadium tour, and we've taken them, for those who would prefer a, a slower pace, we've taken them for lunch on a barge up the Bridgewater Canal. Um, but it's interesting the way that the students will capitalise on the marketing theory that they've learned in level four and level five, or the branding theory that they've learned in level four and level five, um, and then branch out. Uh, what we're asking, the, the experience that you'll get from understanding the customer experience really uh, relates to the fact that you've got to get experience in trying to develop uh, something that has never been done before. So all business students, all marketing students leave university with the same set of skills um, and the same outlook on um, on business. So what is it that's going to make you different? And how on earth do you get that sort of experience? Um, and you, you don't, unless your boots on the ground, you're being asked to do something immediately. So the unit gives you the opportunity to get, gain some experience in something that um, you're going to be asked to do, and there's really no preparation for it. In the, um, the assessment is based on the student's field notes. So the student will go out and take uh, their own field notes, their own experience, which may be different from anybody else's experience, even on that same field trip, um, and then uh, package a report, an individual report for us um, for the assessment. Step up from level five will be evident almost immediately because we're asking you to develop the theory. We'll give you typically some areas for you to um, to study. You're a student, not a pupil, so we're going to give you some wider reading, and it's really up to you to be critical and to get into the theory itself, and then for the first time put this into practice. So this isn't something you do at level five. Um, level six is definitely more difficult, but you're gonna have tools to, um, to help you. So now we've heard more about those option units that are available to you, what happens next? So you'll be receiving an email from the university around the 6th of April with a link to the options portal and how you can actually access it. So I'd strongly recommend that you keep an eye out for that email. Um, it's going to come to your MMU student email, so do keep an eye out for it and do make sure you're flagging it. Um, the option selection period, and I mentioned that earlier, that it's really, really important to kind of know what it is that you're wanting to select in terms of your option before this date, otherwise it's probably too late for you to secure your preferred option. And um, the option selection window, it will open on Monday, the 24th of April, and it closes on the 5th of April. So make sure you're really, really prepared um, and you're really engaging with um, that selection process as early as you possibly can. I would recommend that you do that as soon as possible on Monday the 24th of April. Make sure you're prepared. As I said before, those um, options are going to fill up first, so you should be logging on as soon as you possibly can when it opens to give you the best possible chance of securing your first choice. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you found it interesting and enjoyable to hear more about the options that are available to you. 
do make sure you keep an eye out for that email and make sure you're engaging with that uh, options portal as soon as you possibly can on Monday the 24th.